Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to tell you about Task Manager. How to start it, what functions it has, what processes it shows and how to manage them, and how to restore Task Manager if it disappeared or if you can't start it. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. In Windows 8 and 10, Task Manager has been completely redesigned in comparison with the older versions. Even in Windows 8 you could use Task Manager to change startup options, see your IP address and various charts, manage processes and search for their names online, and do many other things. To start Task Manager, press the key shortcut Ctrl-Alt-Delete or Ctrl-Shift-Escape or right-click on the taskbar or the Start menu to open it. When you start it for the first time, Task Manager can open in a reduced window showing only the programs launched by the current user. To switch it to Extended View, click on More Details to view all the information. This way, it shows the menu and a set of tabs. In the first tab, Processes, you will see the list of all running programs, applications, background processes and Windows processes. A process is a program with which is running at the moment, with all of its elements – addressing space, globals, registers, stack memory, opened files, and so on. Next to every process you will see the information on how much of the computer's resources it is using, that is, how much load it puts on the central processing unit, memory, hard disk, and network. It gives you a good picture of what process is loading the system too much, and you can control what's happening. If necessary, you can always disable it by highlighting it and clicking on End Task, or you can right-click on it to do it. In a window that opens, you will see some more functions except the one for ending the task. As you can see, a process can be expanded and you will see what services are connected with it. Open file location, which is convenient when you search and remove viruses. You can search online for such process, open its properties to view information and modify some settings, for example, security settings or try solving compatibility issues. Another function here is to create a dump file, which means dumping all the stuff from the RAM, which is related to this process, into a file. Choose to show resources in percents or values. In this tab you can also add extra columns by right-clicking on one of them and then selecting what you want to add – type, status, publisher, and so on. In the next tab, Performance, the information on how the computer's resources are used is represented graphically. You can see the data by clicking on the element you are interested in – the CPU, memory, disk, or Ethernet. By opening Resource Monitor, you will get more detailed information about it. The tab App History shows when and how long a certain application worked in your system and how much resources it consumed. To view data on all applications, go to Options to check the setting Show History for all processes. The next tab is Startup. In this tab you can disable unnecessary applications so that they don't start with the operating system and don't put extra pressure on your computer. For example, you don't often use a certain program or don't use it at all. So it would be reasonable to remove it from the startup list by clicking on it and then choosing Disable. If you don't know what this or another program does, you can right-click on it and search online for more information. In the tab Users, you can view the information on the users working with this computer, and if you expand it, you will see the processes they started. You may ask me, why would anyone need this tab? The matter is that bad guys can get connected to your system by using viral scripts. If that's the case, the Users tab in Windows 10 Task Manager will show such attempts. After that, you will be able to decide if you want to check your computer for viruses. Watch one of our videos about removing viruses and you can find the link in the description as usual. 
The tab details looks very much like the first tab processes, but it's got more functions for management. When you right-click on a process, you'll see the option End Task, which I have already mentioned, and the option End Process Tree will end all tasks connected with it. Set Priority needs no explanation, and Set Affinity allows using only a part of the computer's CPU cores to work on the task. Analyze Weight Chain lets you unload some tasks from the process that seems frozen instead of just ending it. UAC Virtualization redirects requests for recording data to other physical folders, other than those addressed by the program code. Creating a dump file sends the contents of the RAM related to such process to a special file. The option Go to Services will show you if this process is related to a particular service, and it opens the next tab – Services. This tab is a simplified way of representing the active services. Here you can also stop or restart some components. Click Open Services at the bottom of the window if you need to go to an expanded mode. Now let's talk about Task Manager menu, which is made up of three tabs – File, Options, and View. By clicking on File, you can run new task, and it can help you if File Explorer is gone. So to restart it, type explorer.exe and click OK to have it back. You can do the same with Windows Plus R. If you hold down the Control button and click on Run New Task, it will open the command prompt. There is no point in explaining other lines in the menu, as they are easy to understand. If you are trying to start Task Manager but nothing happens, or you can't find it, in most cases it could be a virus attack. Viruses can disable it. But there are also chances that Task Manager was disabled by another user or the system administrator. You can try restoring it in several ways with Registry Editor and with Local Group Policy Editor. Start the Registry Editor by pressing Windows Plus R and timing Regedit in the window that opens. Then follow this path – HKey, Current User, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Policies, System. If it doesn't exist, you'll have to create it. In the right panel, find the registry key Disable Task MGR and change its value to 0, if the current value is 1. Do it by right-clicking on it and choosing Modify. Close Registry Editor, and if Task Manager is still disabled, restart the computer. For the second method, start Local Group Policy Editor by clicking on the Start menu and entering gpedit.msc. Then go to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, Ctrl Alt Delete Alt Delete Options, and open Remove Task Manager. If the active setting is enabled, Task Manager is blocked, uh, but the default setting should be Not Configured, so change the value and click Apply. Here is another way to unlock it with command prompt. Run it as administrator and type the following command. If for some reason command prompt doesn't start as well, you can create a BAT file with this code. To do it, create a text file, type this command, and save. And then change the file extension from txt to BAT. If file extensions are not shown, click on View and check the box next to File Name Extensions. After that, run this file and then restart the computer. If editing the registry manual is a hard task, you can create a registry file. To do it, type the following code in the same text document. Save and change the extension to REG, then run it and restart the system. After that, you can start Task Manager. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!